Okay, so what we're going to do in this next step is we're going to create something that is being projected by the projector that we've created. But in order to do that, to make life a little bit easier, what we're going to do is hide what we've created so far so that it's not in the way. There are many different ways of doing this, uh, but the way we're going to go with is to put it into a layer and hide the layer for two reasons. One, it's quite neat, and two, it's a good way to show you what layers are. So the first thing we're going to do is select everything in the scene. Again, there are multiple ways of doing this. You could just um, shift click everything like this, one, two, three, four, etc. Or you can go to select and select all, or you can press control shift and A and that will select all. So you just need to make sure you've got all the geometry in your scene selected. And then if you can't see it, if you did what I did and you dragged down earlier, we're just gonna drag up and we need to bring the layers, the layers thing back, layers box. Yeah, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on layers and we're going to create a layer from selected. And everything we've selected then goes into a new layer. I'm going to click twice on that and that will let me rename it. So I'm going to call it room layer. You can't put um, spaces in this. Uh, you can put an underscore in, but for some reason when you're making a layer, you can't put space in. And then I'm going to click on save. And now there's a little V here and whenever you click on that, that will hide it. So that's the room out of the way for the time being. And what I'm also going to do now is turn the grid back on because we're going to use that to position a solar system that is going to be projected by the projector. So we'll turn the grid back on and then we're ready for the next step.